Welcome to Richard Scale Modelling. This is the build for the Battleship Benchmark from Revell Scale 1350. This uh, build is going to be straight out of the box. It's a ra rather large kit. Um, but I decided just to do straight out of the box build. Um, sometimes it's fun just to do that instead of buying all the aftermarket parts that, that you get. So um, now we'll, I'll take you through what's inside the box. Here um, is uh, just the cotton up of the box. I just got out the picture and put it down there because it was too big to have on my desk. So I'll just get the parts. So the main hill comes in three parts. You see the two halves and the, the top deck there. Um, gives you the idea of the size of the ship now. And um, it comes with about, I think it was about 10 sprues in total. And um, as a whole, this, this, the sprues themselves are nice and clean. So here we go, They're just all the various details of the sprues. Um, these are the railings. I, that's one of the reasons why I decided not to bother getting aftermarket parts because this actually comes with railings, handrails, and, and things like that. So the instruction book um, is a bit of a book. Um, you, you'll find um, the top sheet for the build plan and uh, colours and decal schemes. There's two different schemes here. One for the Atlantic and one for the Asian Ocean, I think it was, for 1940 and 1941. I decided to do the the one with the uh, camouflage stripes. Also comes with a, um, a, a simple uh, decal sheet. Uh, the black stripes you have there are for the waterline markings, which the ships don't have, uh, kits generally don't come with. Um, so you can hand paint them or you can put the decals on. Um, it comes with a basic um, camouflage part and that's the, the big thick black and white things you can see at the top there and um, as you can see where I'm pointing that's uh, where generally the, they should go. So that's your basic outlay of the kit. Um, you'll get to see more of the sprues and that as I go along. So um, there's no time like the present so we'll get on with the build. Well we're going to start off with the sub assembly of the hill. Of, of the hull. You can see that I've already got the masking tape out. That's um, to get the straight length for painting the hull uh, as red colour. So that's my, my tape on and just uh, taking out the other parts of the hull now. This is for the, the prop shafts and that. So oh, on this kit you have to build uh, these into the model before you, you bond the hull together. So that's the part, parts joined uh, ready to go in. Uh, now I've just got to drill uh, some little holes for the um, struts to hold the prop. That's the prep work done so it's time to put in the, um, the parts on, on the hull to support the prop. So now the parts are dry, it's time to paint the hull. This is a Revell 33-1. It's a, a purple red. So the hull's drying, so now it's time to paint uh, the propellers. That's going to be in brass 92 from Revell Aquacolor. So it's time to take off the paint uh, tape now on the hull to see um, how well the strip is going. So you can see the um, red cloth there. Now it's time to bond the hull. I'm just using time extra thin on on this. So I'll bond it together now. Didn't actually need uh, any clamps. The fit was really nice. Just clicked into place and a little bit of pressure holding it together. And that was that. It's now time to paint the upper hull. So I'm going to be using Revell 3, some 1 light grey and Re Revell 78 dark grey for this. It comes in two different tones. That's the dark grey on now, so I'm just putting on the light grey. So I decided to use a decal strip instead of hand painting the black water line. So um, just putting the decals on like you would normally do. Um, a bit of decal fix or micro sole, micro set, whatever you prefer to use. And slide the decals into position. 
and same again with the um, well, uh, camouflage. I did put them in slightly wrong position, so I had to add in a, a little bit of paint to marry it up, but it worked out quite well. So you can see the um, the camouflage stripes are going on now. Goes on to the um, deck painting. I'm, I'm using for the block color um, ochre number 88 from Ravel Aquacolor, and on top of that, I'll be using Life Color Wooden Deck Shadower uh, to bring it up to make it look like a bit of wood. It works out really good, it's a really good effect. So that's the main block colour on. This is me applying the, the shadow on now. As, as you can see there, it just um, highlights the colour, darkens it a little bit and gives it an overall wooden effect. The direct side, um, I'm going over light grey on all, all the little parts on the uh, ship now. I'm just touching up where, where I went over. Um, also on that deck colour, the, you can also go lighter as well. Um, there's a whole range of life colours that you can use uh, to lighten up your deck, darken your deck. Or you can apply it at home mid-wash if you like. So this is the half supports and deck supports um, going in. Make sure you put them in the right way because they correspond to the holes on the deck. Now going back to the underside, so the rudders are going to go up, on and then it will be the, the props. Now the prop shots are going in. Uh, just be aware I used a little bit of filler on the inside because uh, there was a tiny crack so just make sure you don't cover up the hole because this uh, metal rod goes all the way in. So that's the prop shelves in now. Now it's uh, time to put in the propellers which are uh, simple case so I just gluing them on. Moving on to the display stand now. This is um, Revo Aquacolor Dark Green 39. I had a few coats of that to put on. So back to the main build, um, two aircraft here, um, you, you, have, you have the folding wing and the normal fixed wing, there's uh, two of them to, to make up, I took the approach of painting and decaling them just like you would any other scale model plane. That's the aircraft painted up, now just went to dry before I apply any decals. So it's back to the, the base note and the name plate. So it's uh, just a case of sliding on the, the decal for uh, the name plate. Now for the decals of the plane. As you can see they're, they're very small so it takes a lot of patience to put them on. Once everything's dry again I put on the name plate on the base. And that was just a sort of case of fitting the, the base to the hull of the ship. So it's back to the deck. Um, I'm painting on the red uh, background for the soft sticker. So it's just a bit of time to take for, for my line and I'm using Revel number 36 Aqua Paint. So I'm just taking off the tape now. And there we go. And it's uh, time to put in the actual soft sticker sign. Now what I did here was um, I used an old decal with a, a white background, it was a finished de decal. I put it on and I painted over white as you can see there uh, so that I can have the perfect circle and then I painted in the actual swatch sticker itself. So it's time now to bond the deck to the, to the main hull so again I'm, I'm using um, Rebel glue here and it's just a case of putting it on, marrying it up and clicking it into place. Moving on to the guns now, these are the four main guns on the deck that I'm building. And once it's all painted out I'm going to use the tiny weather pigments and I'm just going over the barrels in gun metal as well as the rivets. As you can see, um, the four guns almost uh, made up now. Moving on to that here, craft guns now. There's a lot of guns to build here. So, um, make sure you leave plenty of time to do them. Um, what I did was, um, I done each set and then I put them in little bags with a piece of tape with the actual 
stage number on it so when later on down the line when you come to attach them to the kit you, you know exactly which ones go where. And now for the smaller caliber uh, guns. Lots of guns to build as you can see. So now it's uh, just building the various systems all on the, the ship uh, for the main central island. It's a good idea to paint things on the sprue, uh, especially when they're tiny. But if it's one dominant colour, which obviously the ship is, um, it's uh, really advisable. It saves a lot of time as well. Next part is the two cranes that go on um, the, the midships. These are for hoisting uh, the planes into position and uh, other cargo, I would imagine. So the lifeboats are next and a small craft. These are made up, uh, painted with um, Aquacolor 371 and uh, Brown 85. There are quite a lot of sh little ships on this uh, that you can make up. Um, some of them have clear parts for the windscreens and that. Again, very well detailed. So you can see the lifeboats almost all done now. As I said, there was one or two of them. Going on to the funnel now. Um, Painting them in black, um, which is the um, Aquacolor 09, comes out a very well dusty black. It's the top of the furrow painting. Now, what I'm doing here now is painting in the camouflage stripes. I married them up onto the hull um, to see where they go, and then I used uh, an emery board and I to point towards them and then done an angle so i'll put the as you can see there i put in tamiya tape to get a straight line on this one and uh, just painted in the um, black and white stripes so that's all then take the tape off then you just bond them together and it, once it's all dry it's a simple case of putting on the other bits and pieces for the uh, funnel Moving on to the upper deck now. This is uh, painted the same way as the main deck uh, using the Orca 88 and the sh shader from Life Color. But also, because um, it's a two tone deck, the other part is going to be in Aqua 78 Dark Grey. So that's the um, upper deck painted. So it's a case now of uh, just building up the bits and pieces onto the deck. And for the next level of the deck, same again, just building away. And once it's dry, I'm just doing a dry fit to see where everything goes. So while I'm dry fitting this, I'm just marking off the side panels um, where to put the um, black and white stripes at the angle. So again, I'm marrying up on the deck and um, I'm doing this one by eye to see where how I put the stripe. Now while I was moving that upper deck around I managed to snap off two of the little steps leading to it. So what I've had to do is I've taken the lower deck, put in some filler into the little holes that I was going to go, um, put them in, filled them up, repainted them and then I got all the spares to draw and used two photo etch ladders to put them into place. So it's onto the side walls of the main island. Um, again, I married them up to the main hall and marked them off to paint the camouflage stripes. And remember to do it on the, the angle. Just follow the paint guide on your sheet and you should be fine. So I'm just um, highlighting the rivets and the doors on the side walls before I place them onto the model. So onto the next level and it's... Um, exact same process as I was doing on the lower level here and again attaching them to the model so next part of the island painted in the two different colours 
I'm ready to go on. And this is slot nicely into place. As I said, this coat kit goes together very, really, really well. So much the same as always uh, uh, when you're building the, the tower, just uh, building up each section, remembering where you're going to be putting your paint for your camouflage strike, but just gradually building that up. So it's time to attach the funnel now. So just putting the side areas in for the funnel. These ones hold the um, lifeboats in. So again, it's just using uh, Aquacolor 371 highlighting the rivets and things with the Tayami weathering powder. So building up the um, Central Island um, more now and specifically the bridge command tower. So as it's getting built up you can see the different colour tones taking effect on the ship now. So again it's just a case of doing a little bit painting up and pausing to have a look and then carrying on. As you're building up, don't be afraid to touch up your paint as you go along. Um, that way you might think, oh, I'll leave it until the end. But if you do it th now, you know it's done. And you won't forget about it uh, as the build comes to an end. So I'm um, starting on the actual main bridge now. So again, just building this up. Quite a lot of little bits and pieces on here. Um, as I said, it's a big kit, incredibly detailed. But just take your time with it and it'll go okay. So the bridge is starting to take shape now. As you can see that's the top half of the bridge done. So carrying on working on, on the other parts of the bridge. Now that's built in drives. So it's time to place it on. Just uh, be careful when you're putting this on. It does come with a, a little thing at the back, a little gangway that butts into the funnel. Uh, for later on it's quite important that you get this on straight. So more of the central island, island to be built up, which uh, forms part of the bridge. So carry on building it up. Um, dry fit these parts um, as often as you can because it can be a bit tight the fitting. And of course if you get it slightly wrong it's just going to um, the rest of the build up as you build it. That's the last piece of I believe of the Sentinel Island going on now. And now I'm just finishing off the other part of the Sentinel Island. I'm not sure what this part is for. I think it's some sort of radar system. Well, it's time to go back to the main deck and build in the anchors, anchor chains and so forth. So I'm just preparing the deck here, just uh, dirtying up the um, runners where the chain would run. So the chains were painted in uh, Aquacolor 09 with um, a little bit of gunmetal uh, Tamiya Pal uh, pigments on top just to give it a metallic look. And, um, Again, it was a fairly simple process to put on. The capstans that go around the chain, they, they had uh, some stripes on them, red and green. Don't know why they had them on like that, but they did. Now, the instructions called to put on the chains first, then the capstans on top of them. But that just didn't look right because the chains should have been around the capstans. So I took them off of and uh, put them around. So it's always worth double checking to make sure I was back on the side of the ship now again. Um, I'm just placing on uh, the little parts, the uh, anchors, and so forth that's calling for. So it's time to put the main furniture on the deck. Um, as I said before, it was painted on the sprue. So when you take it off, just um, repaint any little chips or contact points that had to, or sanding that had to be done. Then it's just a matter of dropping it into the deck. Just carrying on with the deck furniture. So just moving on to the first rail and handrails uh, that are going on. There's quite a lot to go on here. Um, 
all, all the railings as well as uh, the capstans, um, wire, reels of wire and cable and things like that. So all the tiny little bits are going on. So I've fitting the handrails now um, along the um, edge of the decking. So we're moving on to the main mast now, uh, just building them up. So as you can see, I, I'm using a bit of plus in there just as support. Um, they also going at a certain angle, so it was difficult to get them in a position to dry. So once I things uh, dry, it's just a case of finding where you put them. Uh, th this part here is the um, the little. Um, walkway that goes from the main bridge to the funnel that I said you have to take extra care of because you've got to line it up for the mast to go in perfectly. So I got to the point now where we're starting to put in the all the sub assembly parts. So this is the cranes going in now. So I'm putting the crane on the other side now as you can see they're ready to go in. And now for the lifeboats to go on. And what's left to go on now is all the guns. One side done, going on to the other side. And it's time for the main guns now. They just slot in, they don't get glued. So you see they just go in and turn. And for the last step of the build, it's uh, putting in the rigging and the aerials. So it's, uh, I'm using easy length, six pound easy length. So what I do is um, I cut a length off, anchor it to a down position using a little bit of super glue, and then just stretching it over to where I want it to go and anchor it on each point. So once it's all dry and stable, just cut off any excess you've got. Then what I do is I paint the, the line using uh, a gun metal. I use Tayami paint for that. So I use Tayami X10. Well, this brings the um, build to a finish now. Thank you all very much for watching. At the end of this video, there will be a, a little slideshow of the actual kit, a complete build. The video is a little bit longer than I would normally do. I, I tried to get them down to about 50 minutes each, but I decided to double this one just to try and get it all into one part. So, again, thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to catch my other videos on the channel if you like what you saw. But for now, thank you. Bye-bye.